Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan here with another Plan With Me video in my social media planner. So there you see my spread in my B6 uh, B6 insert, which is the week on two pages, and I use the freebies from Green Darner Designs, all springy and Eastery. So for this week, let's pull this out so it stays nice and straight. I'm gonna be using an old kit actually from Tasseled Planner. I just love the springy colors of this. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. So just a really beautiful, pretty kit. All right, so let's get started. So I've actually just checked and unfortunately this kit is no longer available from Tasseled Planner, but go check out her shop anyway. She's got some fabulous foiled kits as well. So the first thing I'm trying to figure out is which full box I'm going to use where. And I love this floral one, so I'm going to stick it in the bottom right hand corner. And you notice when I do my planning in my B6, I don't go in chronological order of the boxes. I kind of go wherever I feel like it. So the first thing I do is place down that full checklist box and you notice I don't place it directly in within the lines of the box. I don't know why, I, I, I like seeing it a little bit off center. That's just me, it might drive some of you absolutely crazy, but I personally like it. And then on Monday, I put down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will put down those quarter boxes because those are the days I'm going to upload photos. And then I'm going to use the checklist along with, I guess, a washi strip and a header. Just trying to get it laid down properly because I should have done the header first. Then the, sorry, the washi strip, the header, and then the checklist. I like leaving that space um, open for any video ideas or anything that I want to keep track of. And now I'm using the script label stickers from Green Darner Designs. Shelly actually created these from a request that I did and I'm so glad she did because they're actually really cute. And I place a full box on Thursday along with a half box. Now what I keep track of in my social media planner is when I'm filming videos, when I'm uploading certain videos, um, I'm keeping track of my PR posts for different teams. Um, and I guess it's just a way for me to be creative in another outlet. I know some people think that just having this type of planner is just for fun, but who cares if it is just for fun? I decorate it, I have a great time doing it, and it does keep me a little bit organized with all the videos that I film. So I'm putting these little icons in on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they're just to write down what the um, hashtag is for that day in Instagram. Now I know that once I try and build up my hand lettering business and everything, this will probably become a little bit more, um, there'll be just a lot more information in here. I might need to switch out to a different type of spread, but for now it is just a fun way of keeping track of um, the hashtags I have for the day, when I need to upload certain videos, and also keep track of my Instagram and my YouTube stats like I'm doing there. So I'm using one of the headers and putting an icon there and then another icon underneath it, sorry, another header with another icon, and that's where I'm gonna keep track of my Instagram and YouTube stats. It's nice to see the growth on that on a week to week basis. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is just place a few of the floral decor around just because it's cute. And that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and have a beautiful day.